All right. So welcome. This is uh, game uh, one of uh, my match against Chestic in uh, big games. And the current big game standings, uh, uh, Ultimate Geek is in first, but they've played two matches. We, me, myself and Chestic are in fifth, but we are the last match remaining, and uh, the winner of this match will actually be in first. Uh, okay, what do we have here? And my opponent uh, opened had a free and opened with a masquerade. We have Bandit Fort, which allows. Uh, okay, well, let's let's do it in the proper way. We have Masquerade as draw. We have Magpie as quasi draw, and not a whole lot of other draw options. We have Wandering Minstrel as a village. It seems as though this will be Wandering Minstrel Masquerade, so we need to get Finn. And in order to get Finn, you kind of want an altar. You don't want to. You don't want to fall behind on Magpie split either. Um, here's the this quasi draw, and there are goons, and goons are horrendous. So, hmm. I don't think I want to go Minstrel. I'm not familiar with what Minstrel Masquerade is. Mm, what in terms of uh, openings? Probably not that great. I think I'll just go Magpie. We have a villa. That's a surplus village, though with the low amount of draw that we have in the kingdom. I don't think Villa will come up. Well, we both drew our mask on turn 3. This is stopped, I think. Yeah, I don't care. That's all right. At least for a while. I do think this is Minstrel. You might... Actually, if your card in hand is a mock play, you may consider grabbing the second mark by. I don't think so though, I think that's a pretty really good so, Okay, well, I think I went for a mark by. I had five. <laughs> With five, um... I don't think I want an outpost this early. I think I would rather just click on Minstrel and hope that the magpies multiply. It's not that likely that they do, though. With Minstrel scouting, I could get them to multiply, maybe? But I would need to have more actions in, uh, in my deck. I, I do think I want a Minstrel. Minstrel is an excellent card. Mm. I have one draw to hit. Uh, Masquerade here. Okay, I'm the best at this game. Oh, I'm just the absolute best. I fit Alter here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I shall take the Alter. And this early is probably very good. Wow, that that was powerful. Like <laughs> the villa and the minstrel. Did my opponent gain a magpie? Uh, yeah, they did. Okay. Uh, my next hand has an altar, has a masquerade, and has a magpie, and the copper in those cards. Maybe I shall grab another Minstrel then. Minstrel is just such a good card. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's too many Minstrels. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Alter as well. I think I'll Masquerade here in order to be able to buy a Villa. And do I trash with this? Every other card in my deck draws cards. So... 
I should not be trash. Actually, yeah, I should be trashing, right? I have six coppers. Uh, and if I'm going to... What's down there? There's a minstrel. There's a copper. Yeah, well, uh, the point is, I can buy this villa. And then play the minstrel and draw a copper. Oh, I have seven coppers, okay. And I think it's already time for an outpost. Yeah, let's look at the outpost. Alright, and what I'm going to try to do is to line up these math files to multiply. And the minstrel. And my opponent is uh, getting an output as well. I would like to not fall behind on the math I squared, but I don't think that's possible unless I don't have enough money in my deck. It's going to be difficult to get money in your deck, actually. This, uh, this game, well, that's unfortunate. I did not manage to get my mark price to multiply. Okay, you can have an estate. I shall trash a copper. Um, I think I'm fine not trashing it actually. If it's drawn by mark price. Yeah, what if I don't trash it? I do need to have something to do in my last turns. Is scheme good uh, on my outpost turns? Alright, let's gain a... I don't need an out... Um, hmm. Another minstrel. Go gain a magpie. Just not fall behind on that split. Get a magpie and let's buy have enough villages, let's get another mask. Okay, well, I was going to try to line this up. Okay, I did gain a mark five, so that's something. And uh, let's get another minstrel now. Okay, and I should be careful about trashing coppers, although, no, I can't give away mark fives always. Is not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, my opponent's going to take the rest of the mark eyes. They do have more junk cards. Um, hmm. How are we hitting six? Maybe I want giants. Is that crazy? I need to play every four giants play. I need to play an active troop. No, that's not true. I think troop lets me play three giants. And I kind of agree with giants. No, I agree with city gate. I'd much rather have a scheme than a city gate for an outpost turn. So I can scheme a minstrel and then have a chance to be going. Mm. The thing is, I want goons, right? Not giants. And goons make only one less money, but they are goons. Hmm. Yeah, my opponent has a lot more alt of alt of with magpies.
don't know. All right. Well, Mistral doesn't help me, so that's not why. Is this unfortunate? That kind of does, I suppose. Uh, whatever. Hopper. No trash. Okay. These. Hoppers. Yeah, I'm growing very well. Hmm. I don't have enough money for looms. I could uh, overdraw here. Slash a copper into like a silver. Hmm. I have five, because I have five money currently. I could trash a copper into a giant, but then I have a giant in my deck. It doesn't seem optimal. Yeah, that seems very suboptimal to have a giant in your deck. I think I'll take a silver. I'll just uh, get rid of it later. Seems quite silly to do, but I do want to get to Gloons. Now, uh, are they, they give me an estate? Okay, if they gave me an estate, that would be an embarrassing. Uh, play. Okay, well, that's a disaster. Do I want a city gate for this case? I still think I prefer a scheme. Yeah, I still think I might rather have a scheme than a city gate. <laughs> I think I'm more interested in this altar gaining uh, minstrels than villas, maybe some masquerades. So I'm not that excited about giants. Dudding that outburst turn is really bad. I probably want a second scheme so that I can uh, scheme Minstrel Masquerade into my... A scheming Masquerade doesn't seem optimal. I can scheme Minstrel Magpie and uh, then draw a good card. Actually, no, streaming Minstrel... Uh, streaming Minstrel Masquerade... Okay, it could go bad with three cards. I could have like Altar Goons. That could be suboptimal. Yeah, my opponent agrees with Scheme. Did they trash their. No, they didn't trash their Masquerade. They just. Didn't play it. I do have the sneaky thing of if my opponent is going for a pilot, I might just give them a silver suddenly so that they lose two points because I have a silver right now. It's not the worst. And I can always trash the silver. And they trashed my mark by not sad about it really. Yeah, and uh, they also went for the goons. Okay, now I have eight money in my deck. Right, I would like to have nine. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. 
Uh, you can have a copper. Are you going to have to pass me a good card? It sure looks like it. Uh, yeah, that is a pretty good card. Yeah, this is... Okay, I did have uh, something to do for my masquerade. That's also money for my deck. Mm, and I wanted that one money. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Hey, do I have a draw to pick up whatever I get from uh, Alter? I don't, right? No, I don't. I should probably add a little bit more draw. I have... wait, I have eight. Right? How is it coming? Okay. Oh, because I didn't gain a money because I gave away a copper for this villa. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's play the villas. I should trash a copper, probably. Then I should get another goons. And uh, I guess it's a minstrel. Alright, uh, I'm playing with the items in a weird order. Sorry about that. The outpost, and we buy goons, and we probably don't buy anything else, and we scheme a minstrel. Okay, and uh, we avoid the dud very nicely, passing the copper. And now I should be. Uh, actually, I will be one draw off during my deck. Oh! Well, I don't need to outpost. <laughs> so I'll gladly do that. I could give you back your villa. I don't really need it. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to trash. Like this. Scheme a magpie. Actually. Oh, I didn't draw back to my goons. Unfortunate. Uh, I could just give them a magpie or a villa or whatever. I don't think I'm that worried. I'm gonna grab another minstrel. And I'm going to grab another mask here. I... I'll also grab a copper and I will scheme a minstrel. Alright, so I'm giving away a silver, uh, hmm. giving away a silver and a goons to a goons discard. And hey, I got to trash my opponent's outpost. Sure, you can pop that a different card. Oh! <laughs> I still think I do this, because my draw is a mask. Although, keeping goons, and gooning first, and then masking would be very mean. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I'm gonna trash. Alright. Here we go. 
I mean, my opponent's not going to. And also, I'm going to get only one card, so I'm going to get it on my outpost turn anyway. Uh, I don't think we need an altar anymore, actually. Let's put the minstrel on top. Is the minstrel is a good card. Maybe I can reveal a treasure, yeah. I am drawing all of these cards, so that's pretty good. I'm not drawing my silver though, so I should discard it. Yeah, so I will give away the altar next. Mm. Yeah, and I should be gaining. I could be gaining a villa to gain a goons, but that really makes me unable to draw cards. I think I should just be buying a mask here. Or maybe another copper. Sure, one copper. And skin the minstrel. Okay, this seems fine. I could give you the, uh, the villa. Probably because you're going to have to give me something back anyway. Yep. That's a silver. Let's get a minstrel. I'm sure you don't want this altar. So I'll give it to you, and I can give you the copper now, and you're going to give me the altar back, yep. More goons. I should be scoring pretty well here. Yeah, I could trash the silver into a minstrel now and then grab another goons and uh, grab two coppers so that I don't lose to a magical pilot and also trashing those coppers gives me coppers to mask to them quite nice Yeah, I should be winning soon. I mean, my opponent does not have an outpost. Oh, and I won that player two this game. That's really nice. Okay, mm, I think I've made some good choices. I'm quite happy about this. Uh, yeah. yeah my opponent does not have an outpost. I'm not sure how are they doing anything. And this giant has just been awful. Yeah, they rebought their outpost. I should be winning here though with Masquerade Pilot. Assuming that I draw my outpost. Yeah, okay. All my opponents is going to resign. That's a nice game one. Uh, Alright, GG. Uh, I am the table person, so I shall go first now. Okay, and I shall update the score to be 
Uh, one, uh, zero. Nice. All right. This is game two. We have chapel. We have uh, Vroom Go Gardens. All right. Uh, yeah, we have Vroom Go Gardens. So I don't think there is time for chapel here. I don't think there is a whole lot to this uh, this kingdom. Is paddock? I don't, I'm not even sure that paddock is an option. I think this is just room. And, uh, yeah. So I should grab a silver so that I can uh, get grooms better. And then uh, just get grooms. A ghost ship is kind of mean. But it's also a terminal, and I want to be gaining grooms. So I don't think I I shall take a ghost ship with my five. I think it's just groom. Like this, this is groom green card, like it's very hard for me to do anything else that's not anything that's not getting a groom and getting a green card. Mm. Yeah, it's very unlikely that I get to take three grooms this shuffle, but it was unlikely to begin with. <laughs> Hopefully I don't miss four and miss groom next, uh, next hand. I'm, I'd much rather have a Groom. I mean, perfect hand would be Groom, Silver, Copper, Copper, Estate. But that's probably going to happen. Is my opponent thinking of uh, planning on, uh, on Groom? I considered that. But then I figured... Uh, that there is gardens, and you make one points from gardens. And for that, I should be tracking how many cards are there in my deck. Oh well. Eventually, I shall track that on like the fourth or fifth shuffle. Are we going to even get to a fifth shuffle? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I I think my opponent should be planning on groom just just because it throws some asymmetry into um into the game. And uh, if you are a second player in a Groom Kingdom, you are looking to create some some asymmetrical situations so that maybe there is hope. I'm not sure if it's better or not. I think it's not good to plan on Groom, but maybe that's something. Um, if you just go take Groom, if we just go, you take groom, I take groom, you take groom, I take groom, then I'm eventually going to take all the gardens, and you're going to not get the gardens, and you're going to lose. So, not that you have a choice, really. So, I guess planning on groom. This is what my opponent's thinking about. Pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Nice. This this picture of groom is very pretty. I don't know how does how does a man that just looks so happy and so satisfied or in so many or in so many games. <laughs> Wow. 
All right, that that has been a long thing for my opponent. The minion even tells you that my opponent's going for a lot. All right, I'll grab some tea so that my um, throat uh, will can be able to speak for today and also tomorrow. Okay, they oh they went with a chapel. Yeah, I don't believe this is this is a skip chapel angle. <laughs> I'm very, very unhappy to have a chapel. If, uh, oh, oh, we are building. Yeah, that seems questionable. <laughs> seems very questionable to be building here. This is groom go groom. Mm. I don't want a plan. Do I want a silver? Not really. I just want nothing. Yeah, I think this is nothing. I'd like to hit four here. Ghost ship. Okay. So they are going to try to make me pay for the groom rush. Well, the problem is, and I'm already uh, on take garden duty, and I've already taken five gardens, and I have fourteen points. Okay. That. It is something. I mean, if you can go ship every turn, it's definitely mean. Maybe that works out for my opponent. And they can probably go ship me every turn from now on. Mm. There's no way for me to be sword from the top of my back, right? Nope. Okay. Yeah, they can go shoot me every time. That is mean. Because that is definitely going to stop what I'm doing really well. I have seven grooms. So I should just be buying the estate. I also have 24 cards, so my gardens will probably be worth three this game. They may be worth four. I guess I'm going to top take the green cards and buy the estate. Maybe I should grab the garden still. Just cycle. Yeah, the ghost ship attack is mean though. It's definitely slowing me down. My opponent is gaining paddocks. I might be mean to them. 
and just not uh, take a pile. Mm, the moment when I hit my groom stack, I think this game's going to end. I said, what, I had 23 cards in my deck? And I have six gardens. And I've gained how many? Oh, I don't, I'm not counting. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm just not going to count. It's not that I have extra buys or anything. It seems as though this ghost ship attack has been particularly mean to me. All right, I think I want to try to go off and after this one. There's a lot of grooms in these bottom nine cards, right? How many grooms did I play this shuffle? One. Yeah, he's going to go off next turn. And this is probably important to know where, whether I should buy a copper. Probably food. When was the last time I shuffled my deck? Turn 8. And then I said I had 24. So I gained an estate, so that's 25. In another estate, that's 26. Wow, these things were depressing. And I gained another. Oh, wow. <laughs> these things were really depressing. So I had 27. I don't think buying a copper matters, so I should not do it. Because I don't think I'm gaining 13 cards, and I'm pretty sure I'm gaining 4. Is my opponent going to take the gardens, I wonder? The remaining two gardens. I have six estates and uh, six gardens of work. Oh, cool, yeah, that math checks out. Ah, this is a lot closer than I thought it would be. And again, the next turn is probably the, the good turn for me. What have I seen? The state's gardens is what I have. Oh, this is hard to track. Some two coppers. A second gardens. Another two coppers in a groom. And another two coppers in an estate. Yeah. So there is a lot of groom. Right here. I don't think I can win this turn though. Mm, that's problematic part. They, they can't really pile these towns That's the problem for them. Mm. 
All right, I did not, I, I was not aware for sure of how ghosts should interact with uh, rumors and how much it kills it. Hopefully I can draw through a lot of this deck this turn. Two dice, eighteen money. Hmm. I might be losing this one. I wonder if my opponent takes double gardens here, just to deny me scoring opportunities. And then there is a chance I win. I need to hit four money. If they take a groom or a town that's not going to get them there. They do gain a lot more money uh, when whenever I empty a pile. So I have to watch out for that. I probably triple province whenever I empty a pile. Alright, I shoot gardens. They have a groom though, so I should just empty a pile here. Let's end this. Damn it. Right, I'm up to 33. And I needed to take the groom on the last turn. It's unfortunate. And now I'm going to lose. Unless my opponent takes one of the grooms or one of the pounds. It didn't hit four either. Mm. Oh well. Yeah. Oh well. Unless my opponent takes a town, which I don't see a reason why they would, or a groom. I am lost. They can probably triple province here too. And they can probably top deck all of their horses so that they don't dud. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's uh, very well played for my opponent. Not not going to the groom for the groom groom rush, and in fact beating it. Unless, well, they mess it up somehow, and they don't. They should have a lot of plus five. They should be able to put all of their horses in the deck. I'm going for a morning. Oh! Oh, they did not top deck the horses. That's questionable. This is really impossible for me to win this turn. Or maybe they dud. And if they dud, they win, right? So. Yeah. If they dud, they win. I should have bought a copper. I don't know why I didn't. Oh well. Okay, that doesn't look like a dud. And they can gain a groom with a groom and double province. Huh? 
An 8 card hand? Maybe it is a dud? I mean, it's their fault for not top decking their horses, so. <laughs> uh, that is. That looked desperate. That looks very desperate. Uh, that looks like the end of the turn. Isn't it? Oh no, they're, they're still drawing with their towns. Okay, uh, I think I win. Hey, check this out. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I really thought that I was very much lost there. Wow, uh, okay. I, I really thought the, the, yeah, okay, I really thought they had me. Okay, but it's going to be 2-0. Hey, uh, that means I'm already in, at, at least tied for a lead in big games after this match. That's, that's pretty cool. <sighs> okay. All right, what do we have here? We have Gang of Pickpockets. That's... Not nice. And uh, we have mode for draw, we have a mining village and a city as villages. We also have emissary for a draw. We have excellent payload with highway. But the only plus buy is horse traders and later in the game city. So I think we are just building to some sort of double province. My opponent opened with a moat. This means they have a 5 2. Hmm. Horse Traders is really bad at hitting 5 against Gang of Pickpockets. Yeah, like real, extremely bad. Hmm. I think I'm looking for a cargo ship to be one of my parts of one of the parts of my open because I would like an emissary so that I don't have to discard. There's no trashing in this kingdom. Well, death card trashes, but doesn't trash the cards you you would want to trash. Hmm. So I think. I just want a lot of emissaries and uh, some mining villages and a poacher probably. I'm not spending the favors. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, hey, hit five. Uh, that's pretty good. And that means I get to... Oh, Gang of Pickpockets is friendly, actually. Because it means you get to uh, trigger your emissary. Alright, I should discard down to 5 and then put an emissary in my hand. And I think I want another emissary. I, but I did get a mining village, right? Uh, no, I did not. Okay. <laughs> I shall do that later. I am heavily overterminaled. Oh, actually, this is kind of bad, right? Because. Okay, well, I drew my emissary dead. So this is a sombrero. Yeah, and I have a self-imposed one. Uh, 
What am I doing with a free? Is it just a silver? I suppose. I don't want another cargo ship. Yeah, it's just a silver. Oh, I did not like this sombrero though. It sets up for my next turn, it's not the worst thing in the world. I do want A plus buy for traders at some point, but here I think I need to get a village. Okay, I guess I didn't need to. And I'm going to hit a lot this turn. Damn it! All right, let's. I don't care, about... I don't want to spend favors. Yeah, and I hit a lot. I'm not sure about triggering this shuffle eater. I should grab a horse traders and I should get a terrible hand. <laughs> yeah, I have self imposed a bunch of sombreros here. It's not great. I I would expect a better performance from myself. I shall keep discording. Uh so I have I have enough terminal space. Okay, well, this would be terrible if this wasn't for my cargo ship. So, thanks to that. I guess this, maybe I do want a second cargo ship because this game is very sketchy. Uh, I don't know why did I discard that. I shouldn't have. Yeah, I shouldn't have discarded. I'm so... Wow, the last card is the horse traders. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I'm so bad! <laughs> because I would have drawn that card if I didn't discard the estate and had to redraw it. I can't believe this! Oh wow, and then I would... I can't believe it. This this is just awful, and uh, I think I have to grab a mining village too. <clears throat> Otherwise I won't have enough villages. Because I have a cargo ship. I mean, I'm not drawing deck next turn anyway. Oh no! Alright, I, I deserve to lose this one. <laughs> I very much deserve to lose this one. So hopefully Chestic beats me. Oh, no, no. I have three villages, three emissaries, a horse trader, a cargo ship. And if I'm going to go to the city, I shall spend a favor because I have way too many of them. Mm. Grab a draw card. Oh, no. Well... Okay, I, well, I did not self-impose this one. My opponent seems to have drawn that too. Yeah, this is a scary kingdom. I'll discard this because it doesn't matter. I'm, I'll buy a new one. 
because yeah, the, the odds are that I'm going to hit a village here. Having seen uh, three emissaries, there's an emissary down there. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, since I'm triggering a shuffle here and I already have a discard pile, I should not discard. I am worried about the city dance, but there's no way to mm, yeah, there's no way to gain a card mid turn, so we're just operating on two buys for a while. All right, let's trigger this shuffle. I have two emissaries down there. I have two emissaries down here. Thank you. All right. Do I have a mining? I don't have a mining village, right? So I think I want to not gain favors. Oh, I had a moat. Well, okay, whatever. I forgot about this moat. All right, I should probably get the city, and I want another pause by, so that I can have the upper hand. Upper hand, if we end up doing a a pileout. Threats thing. And also, I have enough money to be buying free. I had a cargo ship, so I'm, I'm going to draw two less cards. Oh, my opponent drew dead. That's really good for me. Um, should I discard? No, I'll spend a favor because a dud can happen. Yeah, that's a dud. Or a partial one at least. Let's keep on building. Add a city to my cargo ship so that my opponent has trouble. Oh! I shall keep on spending favors. I have two cities now. Wow. Wow, this is really bad. Huh. So I've hit seven. This could be a highway. I could also just uh, grab an emissary. It just let you have your city fun. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to extend my lead on cities. I have horse traders, so I'm not that worried about. Like, I can uh, put stuff in my discard and then redraw it for an emissary to trigger. All right, my opponent seems to be drawing their deck now. But they only can buy two cards. And if you empty a pile, you, I, I'm the one with three cities. So you don't really want to be doing that. You could gain two highways. I think I have the upper hand in this game though. Provided that I don't dud. Okay, that is uh, a nice choice. Yeah, I shall spend a favor. Okay. Let's keep on drawing. 
Wow. Well, this is all of my junk cards. <laughs> So I've played two emissaries. I should just pull the trigger on cities, right? Yeah, I should set aside the city and then pull the trigger on them with uh, buying an emissary. I should not pull the second trigger on them because I think that's the more important one. Maybe a highway would be good too. But this makes me consistently draw. I don't think my opponent consistently draws. I buy city emissary. There, we also have mining villages, so there's a lot, like, there's potential to get a lot of money if, uh, if money is needed, but with no way to gain a mining village mid-turn, or at least not that I can see. I don't think these cities are going to activate twice. I'm just going to do this. And I'm just going to say I can draw all of my cards. And uh, you are less likely to do so. Uh, I shall just get rid of this. Okay. Let's discard that. Oh, so you have four buys. Hmm. I could consider like mining village province here or something. Mm, I can trigger these emissaries twice, right? Not sure. I have one card down there. So I got this. Figure them again. All right, I have plenty of draw. So um, I have four cities. You have two. So you have two cities and two horse traders. That means that you can uh, buy four cards. So if I leave the cities untouched, and if I buy Mining Village Province, I win, right? Because you only have four gains. And I can add a Poacher to that. I can add Death. No, death card is very duddy. Um, there's a probability of dudding. I should take that into account. I don't have a cargo ship set aside, so I can just draw a bad hand and dud. So maybe I shouldn't do this kind of aggressive play. Oh, mm, that's interesting. I think that this should be one province. This could also be. No, I can't do city city horse traders because. Oh, I could do city city horse traders. Right? Because you have. Then you only have three gains. And also you have five gains if I uh, empty a pile. And city city horse traders looks really well dot proof. It looks as that proof as I can be. 
I can double province. I can. Uh, how many mining villages do I have? I have four. So I can triple province with that line on the last turn. Uh, how does this work? So if you double, I double, you can quad. And I don't think you can triple against my double. And my max money is 19 uh, plus 8, that's 25. That is province free duchies. So you can triple. Oh, you can probably triple. You have enough money in your deck to triple. The thing is, your deck is so likely to dud. And you are first, so I can't. You can't even go for a tie. This is a really aggressive line. Okay, I drew a city and I drew an emissary, so I think I'm out of the woods. <sighs> I hope I didn't miss anything. There's no way to gain points, or yeah, you don't have a way to. Empty the piles. You may also just dud. Like, that is very possible with these ducks. But I think you just have to. I think I forced you to province here, which is where I want to be. Because I'm pretty sure you don't want to be the one provincing first in this kingdom. Yeah, I didn't miss anything, right? You have three buys. And I have six cities now. So I'm very, so I'm much more data resilient. And I also have this cargo ship. Which makes me even more data resilient. I can pop. Oh, no, I have enough for a highway too. Alongside this double province. You could consider not provincing here, I suppose. Yeah, you could consider not provincing here. But what if I drop triple on you? I'd need to pop two mining villages in order to do that. It's not the highest price. You probably do want a highway. Actually, if you don't double, I mean, you might grab horse traders to force me to double. But I am so much more data resilient than you. Because I have six cities. <laughs> and six cities are so data resilient here. Because trying a city basically kicks you off. So I'm not sure what your line is. Yeah, this this end game is uh, quite complicated. I could have avoided it by, well, by drawing my horse traders at one turn instead of discarding the estate and not doing that. But, and then I would probably be well ahead, well ahead, and this game would not be so close. 
All right, let's let's see if you figure out some some way to fight off after my against my setup. You can't touch this pile. You can't touch this pile. Highway cargo ships. You're you're not drawing your deck that well. <laughs> it's also a problem, right? Like, oh, you have a mine. Okay, you're drawing your deck pretty well, actually. Ah. <sighs> mm. Alright. Uh, 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 uh. oh, I was gonna grab that key, and I never did. Let me be right back. Okay, so what do we Province Highway Estate? I am going to spend a favor just in case. Oh no. Okay, we're safe. Mm. Now we are very safe. Five emissaries. I like to trigger most of them. You see, they're not doing anything better. Anyway. Uh, oh god, I almost spit it my tea. Oh, uh, you still have free buys, right? Yeah, you did not increase your number of buys. I can just double province highway. That's, this is what I was planning to do. And then I don't need to just leave my new room. Oh, I got a coin from the poacher. The poacher in my back. Um, yeah. I hope I didn't miscount my money. 1921, yeah. Okay. So, I want to discard. I want to double problems. Okay. Is probably good enough. And the best you can ever do is triple province. And if you triple province, I'm. I can probably. Oh. Wait, did I mess this up? 
Do you triple province? Did you think that through? Oh no. Mm. If you triple no, if you triple province, double province, Dutchy wins me the game. Okay, never mind. I did not screw this up. Uh, okay, that this is fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oof. And you can't do more than triple province because you have one less buy than me. You only have three buys ever. I can probably quad, right? Mm. With the highway, I just need 28 to quad. And I have 19 in my deck, and I have 5 my... No, I'm 1 off quadding. Mm. Oh, you hit 13. Okay, you're probably just lost then. Yeah, I cannot quad. Well, I can triple though. And if I triple. For tripling, I need 21, so I need to pop one mining village. And if I triple, I am. Uh, well, as it stands, I would be 17 points ahead, and 17 points is double province, double duchy, and you don't have the buys to do that. So I think you need to duchy here at least. Uh, that still loses to triple. And you can't double duchy. Okay, so I think if I triple, I win. This hand does not look like the most promising one. I have a highway here. And you that's it, and you silver it. I'm gonna spend a favor and uh, I'm going to. Okay. This is scary. I don't think I need to pop any more of them, right? Looks like I'm getting there. Yeah. Okay, I don't have that as much draw as I thought I did. Uh, okay, so I have 9 money in hand, plus 3, that's 12, plus 9, that's 21. Okay. Right, that is 21 money. And uh, so if I triple province, you need to. Yeah, you have three buys still. Oh, I could also go boom, 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 right? And I would win now. Uh, right? That's eight. 11, 
Yeah, I have more points. Okay. Whew. All right. That that was a complicated one. But uh but we got there. Uh this is Rio, so I think I'm the sole leader now. And I'm just fighting to extend my lead. Oh god. Alright. <laughs> what do we have in this last game? Mm -hmm. We have innovation, we have King's Court, we have displays, and we have Wayfarer. So Wayfarer display stands between Wafer and Province is very much a thing. Uh it's my first idea here. And we have a village in terms of plaza and merchant camp. We have a draw in form of wafer and sleigh. Okay, so we want to draw a bunch, get a king's court, get a display stance, win the game. Uh, there is a militia on board. That is a really mean card for when I'm going first and my opponent isn't. Mm, yeah. And you want to hit this place soon. I wouldn't mind a bunch of slays. Hitting innovation is not the worst. Uh, so maybe you want to hit six before you hit five, actually. Well, anyway, I'm going to open a militia with a militia because that card is very, very good. And I'm going to open with a church so that I can trash coppers. And also having churches is just good. So here, um, I could try to hit six next hand. There are, what, four coppers and a militia in those seven cards? So, hmm. I think I want to just pass this turn. I mean, is the second church better than passing here? I don't think it is. Especially since I already have this nice setup. And I think I'm planning to trash a copper. So I'm just going to set aside free estates. This way of the seal too. Okay, and now yes, and now I would like to innovate and I would like to trash a copper. I could also just get a king scored, but no. That doesn't seem that good. It's displacing into a bunch of slaves. Okay, I'll discard two estates and I'll trash a copper here. My opponent drops a merchant camp. You know, I don't really see what's the point of that. Uh, let's grab innovation. And now I shall innovate the displays, or next turn I should, shall innovate the displays. I could innovate the church here to trash more cards. I could innovate a sleigh to gain two horses. Um, because I trust the copper, it was just a militia and free estate. My militia bottom decks, I can't do uh, innovating the displays anyway, unless I set aside two coppers. So I'm going to, but I need to set aside a copper in case my, uh, in case uh, I have. I bought on the a copper, 
so that I can still have a militia and free coppers who innovated this place. Yes. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to innovate a sleigh here. I could seal it, but no. I did not need to set aside the copper because I'm a state bottom duct. If I get militia here, that's quite annoying actually. Because I don't have a displaced target. I did not get military yet. Okay. Mm. So that's nice. Uh, I think I shall trash. Uh, I could trash another copper. I'd just be really greedy about. I'll have the displace in my deck. I think I can pretty freely do that. And um, I think I'd like a village. This church being found on top of the shuffle is excellent for me. Uh, yeah, I shall discard these two so they have a displace target. <sighs> a horse. I keep on finding this church. This is uh, quite powerful. I. What do I have? I do want to innovate this plaza. Yeah. Play it uh, to gain a coffer. Wow, I did not know you could do that. I mean, it's not like I can play this sleigh, right? So... Should I top deck a plaza? Sure. It's better than not, I imagine. Oh. This is... Does it not work? <laughs> I don't think I top deck my plaza, so I think it just didn't work. Anyway, I it looks like I'm pretty far ahead. Okay, so I shall trash a copper. I'll discard a copper. Oh, if I didn't trash this copper, that would be very good, but oh well. I, I shall gain a wafer here. By exiling the scopper into a sleigh and uh, innovating the sleigh. Yeah, I can innovate the sleigh still. Play it. There's so many nice tricks in this kingdom. Uh, I'd like to be setting aside these cards, but I guess I don't get to. Villain. I guess my opponent just really wants to get to the thing. I, I mean, I'm planning to get to King's Court by uh, exiling a Wayfarer. Oh, I could keep this turn going. Let's play the horse. And uh, I shall put, put this horse in hand, yes. Uh, the problem is my wafer now costs a lot. I could gain a silver. And I could get get to King's Court, probably. Mm. 
Don't want the silver in hand. No, I'm pretty sure I can uh, just draw back around. Uh, I should discard the copper. Oh, I wanted to discard this sling anyway, though. Because I don't have enough villages this way. It's such a complicated kingdom. Hmm. Alright, oh well. I put a bad card on top of my deck. I don't even know what it is. Alright, so I could displace this into a plaza or a wafer. I said that I don't have enough villages. Oh, I did not put a bad card on top of my hand. Alright. I'm going to play this guy as seal and I'm going to play this militia. And I'm going to play the treasures and I'm going to buy King's Court and I'm going to top deck it. Do I have any horses left? No, there's twenty or twenty nine horses. Uh, so I can't. Maybe I could have the. No, I don't think I can gain and play another king's court. I can maybe you know. No, I can't innovate the king's court here. I can innovate at this place. Uh, by doing draw nine, gain silver. New, play it. Do I want another silver? Yeah. Continue, and then play it. Don't gain. <sighs> Alright, I shall now exile all of these silvers. Probably discard this copper. Do more displaces. I innovate that, play it, don't need more of these. Uh, I could put them in hand, could just continue. I don't think I should have put the copper there. Uh, oh well. Let's get this copper. Should be buying another King's Court and top decking this place. Um, I want to be playing both of these sleighs. I want to be sealing the King's Court too. Can't have everything. And I want to be attacking my opponent with a militia. So I think I'm just going to set uh, this. I don't need these coffers. I don't think I need to be sealing the king's court. I should just do this. Mm. All right, I'm gonna grab a King's Court. This does run the risk of me not drawing my King's Court. Uh, I am going to try to King's Court the King's Court. Uh, I shall discard the silver. And I shall discard this displace. I've put three displaces in my deck. There's a lot of displaces.
I don't need these coffers for sure. All right, I did hit the king's court. Uh, king's court on king's court. I think I'm going to not discard and. Um, don't gain. Don't gain. Don't gain. Play the king's court. How important is attacking my opponent? No idea. I would like to do this and innovate a king's court because that seems great. One of these horses in hand. Play, play. Play this place, exile a horse. In another this place, discard this from exile. And uh, exile another horse, gain a wafer. Oh, I have another king's court that I could play. I guess let's gain infinity actions. Discard. Discard. Whatever. Uh, all right. So I should activate the displays dance now. How do I do that? I need a six course card. It's a gold. Yikes. I don't want the gold. <laughs> mm. And, okay. Yeah, I was like, I, I was mostly waiting for my opponent to do that. All right. Uh, disease. Uh, that, that feels very good. I just, or the the highest seed in the tournament. Uh, yeah, I just I, yeah. All right. Uh, I can uh, report uh, the score. Uh, good uh, luck in uh, future matches. Uh, All right. Wow. I I don't know what to say. This this was just good. All right. <laughs> That'll be it for uh for the match. Uh thanks everyone for tuning in. And uh yeah, we're going to win for O. So we're going to go right on top of the standing and we are going right in the path of Eddie. Uh, from last season to go win the big games. All right. Um, uh, yeah. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, see you again soon.